get it. I didn't really want to make a video like this, but the coronavirus, everyone's talking about it. It looks like I've got the coronavirus. <laughs> looks like it's lit, hit Lancashire and I just suddenly can't breathe. Suddenly came across that I couldn't breathe. I was trying to cough and it was just like sucking my breath in like really bad. <coughs> like it is at the moment and I can't breathe my chest seems so tight and hollow I've never known anything like it and I'm just going about to take my inhalers now because I'm sort of like feel like I'm gasping for breath but yet I can't even breathe through my sinuses either so I'm just trying to um take my inhalers at the same time so bear with me a moment okay <laughs> Plus, I can't stop coughing. It's got to be the situation where we're all going to have to walk around and even if we're indoors and have masks on all the time because I think it's something the cat's dragged in. <laughs> Brought the coronavirus in. <laughs> it's not good. You should always ch chuck tissues away after you blow your nose and wash your hands. That's the main thing. But I've got to take these inhalers fast because I just can't breathe. I really just can't breathe. I'm just looking in my bag here for my ventilator and inhalers because I can't breathe. I really can't breathe. And it's scary. And it's coming to the end days because as what God told us and in the Bible about the world coming to an end and things that will happen as what we see in today if people believe it or not it's happening now we see it right in front of our eyes and there's nothing we can do about it hold on a minute I need to put you down so I can take these inhalers <laughs> hold on a minute guys I need to find a little space for you okay. well let's just take this okay so I'm going to take this and I need it so bad. <coughs> <coughs> oh gosh, I can't breathe. And not only that, I feel sick. I'm very vulnerable of catching viruses after virus after virus after virus because my immune system just can't cope with it. And I feel fluy. Oh gosh, this one's not going to it's not going to work. Oh no, don't say I've run out of my inhalers and I can't breathe. Everything will be in lockdown. Oh gosh, it, it's just typical. Just typical is it, isn't it? <laughs> my cat's looking, he wonders what's going on. Don't want to frighten him. Let's go and have a look, see if I have another one. Let's try this one, eh? I'm going to have to start and reorder these on Monday. Forget that. Oh, I need to put it back in the thing. Oh. Forget that one. I'll try another one. Try again. Here we go. Hopefully you'll help me breathe. That's better. We're cooking with gas now. <coughs> <coughs> oh gosh, I know you're supposed to put your hands over your mouth, but oh. just a relief being able to breathe would be a start. Everything's got to be sterilised and just got to be extra careful. And then I need to wash my hands. I need to. I need to get some sick pe sick pills ready actually for when I need them in a bit. I'm on cyclazine for a really bad sickness, and I'm just going to leave some out. And then I'm not groveling in my bag when I, so I feel really sick. So I'm just going to put two on the side. So don't worry, there's no children you can take them out. They're out of sight. But I've put two on the side for when I need them. They're always best to have them on standby because when I have this condition, it's just unbelievable. And I mean unbelievable. And then I have to ster sterilise the mouth part on it. It should always be sterilised. Even on the inhalers and things like that, need to be all sterilised as well. Now, <coughs> I could 
breathe a little bit better now. But it's really horrible. I've never known anything like it. Okay, let's just do this oxygen. I have an oxygen finger thing we put on there. You should always keep one of these in because you never know when you might need them. You know, you can go onto Amazon or eBay, purchase one of these these um, monitors, you know, where you put it on your finger, oxygen monitors. And it's always best to keep it in. I'm telling you now, you have to keep it, it's best to keep it in for yourself. And then you can test it. When you feel short of breath or you feel not so good or you're not happy with something, it's just better than waiting for a doctor to do to, to do it and do it yourself there and then because when you can't breathe and you want to know what's going on you want to know now not when the doctor's ready and they've got a space for you or whatever you want it now it's always best to keep one in anyway for any reason and what it's telling me at the moment is that my the top end is 98 it's, oh sorry it's gone now it's gone down now to 97 that's the pulse part. The one at the top is the pulse. It's racing a little bit because probably because I can't breathe. And we're talking and oh now we're going really up on the oxygen level. I meant the pulse now. It's going really up and down. You can't keep up with it and it's because I can't breathe and if I felt like I could breathe again it would be a lot better. Hopefully things are going to solve in a minute when the inhalers sort of kick in and open these airways and things like that. The top end now is saying 99, gone to 100, it's gone to 100 now. And then the oxygen is actually telling me 99. It's probably because that I'm heavy breathing that much inside and that because I can't breathe and like sort of gasping like thing might not see it sometimes, you might not see it on the outside, but on the inside you could feel like your chest just can't keep up with it and you just can't breathe. It's not filling up with air and your lungs not as fast as what it should be doing or, you know, when your body's telling you when there's something wrong. And I do not feel well at all, I'm telling you, I've got really bad flu symptoms again now and I can't breathe, I keep, I've got a really bad sort of like dry cough. I've got the coronavirus basically there's no no doubt about it and all you can do is self-isolate like they say what make any difference to me because i've got agoraphobia anyway so it's not going to make any difference to me but the only difference it's going to make is that i can't breathe and if i have to go to the hospital it'll just have to be done and that's the end of it just got to grin and bear it because your life's more important than anything so but we're in the end days, we are in the end days and as it says in the Bible there are going to be widespread diseases and like the coronavirus and we've had lots of other viruses but this is really bad and oh the monitor's just gone off so I'm just letting it dry and settle down, hold on a minute. It might not get a proper reading though if I hold it like this. I don't know, it looks, looks upside down. It looks really upside down, doesn't it? Yes. <clears throat> so. Okay, so the top end is 90, 95, the pulse, and the bottom one is 99, which means that you're all supposed to be okay. It's everything's in the normal range sort of thing. But I am heavily breathing, so it is going to be a lot faster anyway because it's covered. Um, another thing is I have bad asthma. I do suffer with asthma really bad. So I normally only just take my inhalers though when I need them. But now I'm going to need them more than ever because this is horrible, really horrible. And I've had paracetamol before and all the other things. So I think it will help with some of the flu symptoms. But just gotta just isolate yourself that's all we can do so there you go if you don't get it you're very lucky very lucky it just shows you how it can be widespread and how how fast it can move that virus even if you've got agoraphobia and you don't go out and then the cat they say it can come through cats and he's always out i think we should isolate our cats from going out and then they can't bring things in it's i think we should do really pets or anything like cats dogs 
sort of things like that, but it shouldn't go out. They should actually isolate them. And then they can't bring the germs back into us. It's going to have to be the only way, as long as you've got a cat litter tray or something for the, your dogs. <laughs> they don't make too much of a mess. Mate, it's worth thinking about. It is worth thinking about. But there we go. My mouth's going really dry now. I need to get a drink of water and to sort of sort myself out, basically. Right, I'm going to go now, guys, because I want to get a drink because my mouth's so dry. So wish me luck and let's see how things go. My pulse just went up to 115 and then it shot back down to 93. Might be with me moving about, maybe, something like that, but... I don't know, it's all over the place at the moment by looking at it, so let me go guys and sort this out and I'll keep you posted if anything else serious happens or whatever happens and stay indoors, make sure you've got plenty of food, make sure you get plenty of rest, plenty of water, that sort of thing and wish me well with it and I wish you well with it if you have something like this and God bless you, Jesus is coming soon, he's coming soon. There'll be no more diseases after that. We'll be fine. Believe me. God bless you.